Hi, I'm Chrissy Gardner, and I'm a mechanic technician apprentice here at Utah Transit Authority, and I have actually been here with the company for 15 years. It's a challenge on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, some days are, you know, more fast-paced than others, but it, it is a challenge every day. Well, actually, I have a couple of really good mentors here at ETA. Um, one of my first mentors that I had when I was making the transition from being a service employee to learning preventative maintenance was Mike Horowitz, who's still here. He's, um, you know, here on swing shift, but he showed me how to do preventative maintenance inspection the correct way, how to change the oil the right way, how to grace the understructure of a bus the correct way. Um, another individual that's been a mentor to me was Glenn Wheeler over at Central. He taught me, he taught me how to do so much with tools. You know, like there were tools that I had never touched before I even started here and had never used. And he showed me the safe and proper way how to use them. Advice I'd give to my younger self, don't be afraid, just go ahead and go for it. Jump in, because the worst people can tell you is no. That you don't have enough experience in something, that you don't have the qualifications. Worst somebody can tell you is no. Go ahead and just do it. Advice I give to other women is, is don't be afraid to you know, like come in the maintenance field. We have um, people who are interested that were operators that I talked to and it's like, well, I'm interested in becoming a mechanic. Well, go put in for the fuel island, you know, start on the fuel crew because it's not the good old boys club anymore. We've got quite a few women in this position. We've got, you know, a female journeyist in the body shop. We have female supervisors. Here at Meadowbrook, we have two female supervisors. You know, we've got, you know, at this particular shop, myself and one other female mechanic on graveyard, one on swings and one on days. It's not a, just a profession for men anymore. My husband is extremely proud of me how far I've come in my job. He's been extremely supportive. You know, my entire career, he's been extremely supportive and we, you know, work stuff out, you know, to enable me to take classes. Cause you know, we have two kids and it gets interesting sometimes. One of the things I'm most proud of it here uh, at UTA is I have worked my way up from being the entry level of the maintenance chain and I have worked my way up with what I've learned on the job into becoming an apprentice so that I can eventually be a journeyist. It's, it's been an extreme challenge but I'm extremely proud of the fact that I've come quite that far.